Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth! I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's turn two Tuesday, and we're going to turn two more Project 2020 cards. Fortunately, we have two of the same artists we looked at before, so we get to kind of compare and contrast and talk a little bit about print runs. And I'd also like to take a little bit of time to talk about Ben Baller and his social justice work. Uh, But first up in the dugout today, we have Honus Wagner and Johnny Depp, because on this day in 1914... Honus Wagner became only the second player ever to achieve 3,000 hits. The first guy ever to do it was Cap Anson. And I'm going to put a link in the description below to a Silver Jackify video where he shows off a legit vintage Cap Anson card. It is a beauty. He talks a little bit about Cap Anson. It's just really cool. So when you're done here, click on over to that and uh, watch that. Also, fortunately for enough for us, we ripped some 21 Jump Street packs the other day and uh, got us a little Johnny Depp. And lo and behold, it's his birthday today. Happy 57th birthday to one of my favorite stars, Johnny Depp. Okay, let's get into the Project 2020. First up, number two, Derek Jeter. Number two, by Grotesque. Uh, So these uh, two I ordered from a reseller. I didn't get them directly from Topps. Uh, I wanted to try it as an experiment. You know, I saved a few dollars. I ordered them separately, but they arrived together. Uh, So again, a little synchronicity that we get to look at the two artists again uh, side by side. Uh, And so I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about how they're lining up uh, as we get cards from the same artists now. Also, the cases. Uh, uh, This case feels a little loose. Uh, I'm noticing the difference in other people's videos. Uh, Some of the cases have this frosted side, some don't, some are tall, some are short. Uh, Some have like a recessed lip for the one touch, some have a raised little lip that you can uh, pull them apart if you take the sticker off. Uh, So that's kind of an interesting aspect to the Project 2020. Uh, When I ordered the original, uh, they came together, the Ben Baller and Grotesque. Uh, but they weren't these two that we're looking at weren't released together. Uh, but something I'm noticing with grotesque is most of the artists, right? You have your style, but you're not necessarily just recycling a template, and that's what I'm feeling with grotesque. As we see here, this is basically a five-minute Photoshop job. Uh, you know, you've got your template, you change the text, uh, you change the colors, bing, bang, boom, you're done. Uh, so I'm a little disappointed in that aspect with Grotesque. Um, and, you know, I mentioned the first time, I was like, I don't even know where this picture came from, and I'm just getting old and my brain is dying, and I did not register that this was just the little circle image in Gwyn's 83 Tops card. Uh, but I, I like this one still. I love the colors. I like the throwback feel. But as more of his cards come out, I'm getting a little disappointed in seeing that he's essentially recycling a Photoshop template, and I just feel like that's a... A little bit of a disappointing way to go. Uh, the print run on that Jeter was 6,511. Oh, there we go, the Ben Baller. Whereas in contrast, the Gwyn back there was uh, only 1,441. And the reason I wanted to bring up the print run was because as Project 2020 rolls along, we saw the prices go bonkers. Um, and the print runs go bonkers. I know that the, there's a Griffey out there with 90,000 plus. This trout was 34,950 was the print run. Uh, and in comparison, this beauty, one of the first ones I ordered of the Big Hurt, was a print run of 2,836. So obviously it's becoming more popular, more people are buying them. Uh, and so I imagine we're going to see these earlier ones, just like the first Ermsey Trout come out, uh, you know, with the low print run and the values still remain high, but you can go back and get this one, you know, for probably 30 to 50 bucks now. Um, I think that Big Hurt's probably still closer to 50, uh, maybe even more. Um, but as we look at the two Ben Ballers, we can see here, he's maintaining his artist style, uh, what he does as a jewelry designer with the diamonds and everything like that, but they're different. Uh, He's not just recycling a template. I mean, that's clear as day. He's bringing all different things to 
the card, and I so I like that. I'm really liking Ben Baller's work. Um, you know, the diamonds are sort of his thing. So Trout's got his little, like Michael Jackson diamond batting gloves. The background of the Trout looks it looks like leather a little bit. He's got like the kind of wi- angel wings going, uh, and behind Big Hurt we got sh- the Chicago skylines. You can see the tower back there if you look closely. Um, and so I'm really digging that. And so I want to take a minute here to talk about social justice warrior Ben Baller and how it may or may not affect his standing in the in the card game and in Project 2020. So as the George Floyd protests were happening, he was very active on his Twitter. And I want to thank uh, Fab Sub Hasa Cards for pointing, saying, hey, go take a look at his Twitter because uh, as, you know, I, I don't talk about it that much, but a little bit more these days, you know, I'm a lefty, um, and I believe in social justice, and so I don't mind what Ben Baller is doing, but his Twitter feed, so basically, as this card was coming out, and George George Floyd was murdered, he made a one-of-one one card that said, I can't breathe across it, and he autographed the back, and he was auctioning, uh, auctioning off the card, and all the proceeds were going to go to George Floyd's family, and then it got taken down. Uh, I think it was an, a, a charity auction via eBay, and they pulled it for whatever reason. Um, he was, you know, like I said, very active, commenting on everything that was happening on his Twitter. The racists were coming out and attacking him. Uh, he was saying things like, I don't care if this ruins my name in the card game or for Project 2020. You know, there are bigger things, um, and I agree with him. Uh, but I wonder if any, you know, there's a lot of uh, right-wing people that collect cards too, as Michael Jordan famously said, right? Republicans buy sneakers too. Uh, and so I wonder if it's going to affect him at all um, and affect the collectability in a positive or negative way. Uh, he did just partner with Blake Jameson for the Blake Jameson trout that's coming out. Um, he did some diamond design, so that actually is like a double. That's like a, a, col- a collab, a collab, a project, right? Uh, for those two guys, um, and so that'll be kind of interesting uh, to see. What, I think the print run on that has been announced. I did order it. We'll look at it when it when it arrives, but. Um, I just wanted to talk briefly about that. Um, I encourage you, I'm going to put the link to his Twitter in uh, the description as well. You can go take a look at what Ben Baller's been talking about. Um, He's got some videos. He's got images. uh, He has one video up there that's insane of his money bears being stolen from an art gallery in L.A. I don't know if someone else got it and he just shared the video or if he was standing there filming it. I mean, it it was interesting, though. but, uh, but yeah, so social justice warrior Ben Baller letting it fly on Twitter right now. Uh, and so I wish him well. Keep up the hard work. He's donating to a lot of orgs, I think, and you know just trying to make his voice heard. Um, and so uh, it should be interesting to see how it progresses. I'm going to keep my eye on that as time goes on. Uh, so leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of today's episode. Looking forward to reading your comments. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.